Let's review math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 17. Fraction equivalence, ordering, and operations. Topic D, fraction addition and subtraction. In this example, let's take one whole and subtract 3 eighths. Well, I have one whole, but I want to take away three parts if the parts are made of eighths. So when I think of my one whole, I can think of that as being 8 eighths. Now I can subtract my 3 eighths from that, and I would get 5 eighths. So 1 whole minus 3 eighths is 5 eighths. Let's try another one. So our 1 whole minus 2 thirds will equal x. It's going to equal a number that we don't know yet. So when I think about my 1 whole, I see that I need to take away 2 thirds. So when I think about my 1 whole, my 1 whole will be 3 thirds. So I will have 3 thirds here and then I can subtract 2 thirds. So let's think about this in number bond form. Here's my number bond. My one whole is going to be represented as 3 thirds. So one of the parts is going to be 2 thirds and the other part will represent with x. So here's my number bond. And you can see that whatever is here, which is 2 thirds, plus whatever is here will equal 3 thirds. So we can say that 2 thirds plus x equals 1 whole. Or we can say x plus 2 thirds is equal to 1 whole. We could also do it with subtraction and say 1 minus 2 thirds is going to equal x or we can say 1 minus x equals 2 thirds. Our number bond helps us see that, that this whole is made up of two parts. One is a known part and the other is an unknown part. Now to solve for that unknown part, let's use a number line. So here's my number line. It's showing a number line broken up into three parts one part, two parts, three parts. So I have one whole, so I'm going to represent that on my number line by saying I have a dot here. This is one whole. Now what I'll do is I will go backwards on my number line one-third, two-thirds. That's going to show that one-third is my answer. So one third plus two thirds equals one whole or three thirds. Let's try another one. How about one minus seven twelfths equals x? So let's first think about it as our number bond. Here I have one whole, but my one whole is going to be broken into twelve parts. So I will have twelve twelfths. Then one of the parts will be 7 twelfths and the other part will be x. So I'll put my x here and my 7 twelfths here. Now this number bond is representing that I have one whole and that one whole is made up of two parts, 7 twelfths and x. So what is the rest? What is x? Well, let's solve for x. I can take 12 twelfths and I can subtract 7 twelfths. 12 minus 7 is 5. So 12 twelfths minus 7 twelfths is 5 twelfths. So x is equal to 5 twelfths. All right, let's try this one. Now I have 1 and 1 fifth and I want to take away two-fifths. So one and one-fifth minus two-fifths. First we're going to start by decomposing one and one-fifth and we're going to do that using a number bond. 
So let's show the two parts that are going to make up our one and one fifth. Well, I know that one whole is going to have to be five fifths, and I have one fifth left over, so that would be one fifth. Together, these things make one whole and one fifth, or we can say it makes six fifths, because five fifths plus one fifth is six fifths. So now I need to subtract two fifths. And I'm going to show that by drawing a tape diagram. Now here I have my tape diagram. It's showing that one whole is five fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. But I have more than five fifths. I have six fifths. So that's what this tape diagram is representing. Now I just need to subtract two fifths from it. So I can subtract one fifth, and then I can subtract another fifth. That would be me subtracting two fifths. Now I have four fifths left over. So one and one fifth minus two fifths is four fifths. Let's show this on a number line as well. So here's a number line that I have drawn, and it has a zero here, it has a one here, and it has a two here. And in between zero and one, we have one, two, three, four, five parts, because it takes five parts to make up this whole. So, zero fifths would be located here on this number line. One whole is five fifths, so that would be located here. And over here, by the two, that would be two holes. So it takes five holes to make one, so two holes would have to be ten fifths. So now where would six fifths be? Well, we could count them, or we could just look at five fifths and say, okay, one more is going to be where six fifths is. So I'm going to put a dot marking where six fifths is. Now I'm going to move back two fifths. So here's one fifth and here's two fifths. So where on the number line did we land? We can start at zero fifths and go one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. We're at four fifths. So one and one fifth minus two fifths is four fifths. We just modeled this using a number line and a tape diagram. All right, that's going to take care of things for lesson 17, where we've been using visual models to add and subtract two fractions with the same units, including subtracting from one whole.